Daisy Ridley's back, baby! <laughs> oh, we're having fun with Star Wars again. Let's talk about all the exciting announcements that came out of the 2023 Star Wars celebration. If you're not familiar, or you're not invited like me, Star Wars has a convention every year where they talk about all the exciting new prospective shows coming out. Like, another Mandalorian season that'll probably suck, or an Ahsoka TV series, or a brand new Star Wars trilogy. Or is it? We got three different directors, we got three different films. Doesn't sound like they're actually connected in any way, shape, or form outside of nostalgia. And I think that's a good place to start. We're gonna go with these three films with James Mangold first, because I love James Mangold. He did Logan, he's doing the new Indiana Jones, and apparently he's got Star Wars on the way. Here's what we know about the Mangold film. It's gonna go all the way back to the dawn of the Jedi. Okay, that's what we know so far. Moving on. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's really nothing at all to go off of. So we're gonna do a thing here that we like called speculation. It's an important piece of journalism when you're not a journalist like myself. So what I'm thinking they mean by old beginning times, we're gonna see a rust belt, bread bowl situation, maybe some Jedi down in their luck, sweeping the streets, cobblestone roads, they have dusters and newsies type caps. And they also have a belt with their pelts on them. And that rhymes, belts and pelts. But there's also a lightsaber. <laughs> Dave Filoni's film is gonna focus on the New Republic. This is a big deal for someone um, because Dave Filoni's been in the game for a while. He did some Clone Wars stuff. He's a producer, an executive producer, or something to do with The Mandalorian. The Book of Boba Fett which was perfect in every way. And then I think he has stuff to do with Ahsoka, which is another thing that we haven't even, we haven't even talked about yet. We'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, yeah, Filoni though, he's, this is his first time directing a film. So this is a pretty big deal. So what do we know about Dave's new big movie? Well, we know it's gonna focus on the New Republic. And that's about it. That's what we know so far. Charmaine obeyed Chinoy. Academy and Emmy Award winning director who's worked on such phenomenal pieces of cinematic achievement such as Miss Marvel, the Disney Plus show, and probably better things since she's an award winning person. Uh, she's got something in the game. She's got some skin here and it has to do with a strong female lead named Ray. It's about time. We started this episode talking about Rey, now we're gonna really dive into her. We're gonna get all up in that Rey news. We're gonna go deep inside Rey's psyche and figure out why. Why is she coming back? Why is Daisy Ridley coming back? Probably because Daisy Ridley can't find work because of the terrible sequel trilogy. But I also think it's because Daisy Ridley is actually pretty freaking awesome as Rey. And I am not being sarcastic for once right now. Listen, let me get real, let me get real with you for a sec. Okay, if that's okay, I'd like to put my real cap on. Um, I like The Force Awakens. I don't really like it anymore because of what comes after, but I liked The Force Awakens when it hit theaters. I loved it, in fact. I thought, all right, we're back to the good Star Wars again. I don't like the prequels. I know it's, it's cool or something to like them now, either because they're meme-worthy or just because a new generation grew up with them. I tried showing my kids them, they can't stand it. And I didn't, I didn't like sour them going in. I'm like, oh, you're not gonna like these. They, they just didn't like them. My son's like, where the fuck is Luke, dad? Where the fuck is Luke, dad? Throw something at me. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. My daughter breaks a bottle. She tries to stab me in the throat. How dare you, dad? You lied to us. You said this was Star Wars. I'm like, it is. It, please don't leave, kids, kids. No. And that's how that happened. But then the sequels come along. All these years, AC Slater. And I'm excited again. We got Solo back. He's a deadbeat dad, fine, fair, okay. We got the tease of Luke in the distance on a rock 
who apparently doesn't want to be found, but he left a map for people to not use it. To not find him. Anyway, we had pieces in place, and then The Last Jedi killed me. It just, it, it just stabbed me in the, in the heart, which was already blackened and small, but that, that tore it to pieces. Shredded it. And unlike Mary Poppins' Leia, I can't put that back together. I can't force fly back into existence. I'm done for. And so was Star Wars to me. Rise of, Rise of the Skywalker, Rise of Skywalker, whatever that's called. I went into that having a great time because I lost all hope. Expectations were gone. I just wanted to be entertained for an hour, 45, two hours, whatever that stupid movie is. And it entertained me. Absolute schlock. Across the board. I don't ever want to watch these again. So my excitement level going into a new Star Wars movie is at an absolute zero. But I like the characters. I really liked Rey. She's a, she's a pretty, smart, well-spoken, dramatic actress. And there is a scene in The Last Jedi. I know people shit on that movie up and down. I do too. But that throne room fight is freaking awesome. People are going to be like, oh, the hand clips, the hand clips. Play back the tape of the original movies. Those fights are pretty much trash across the board. They have the emotion in place. That's what makes them good. But the choreography and everything is, is pretty pathetic. That scene where Daisy's like, vroom, 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 ah! it's awesome. She is freaking great at this. But they gave her terrible writing. They gave her a terrible script. Finn was done way worse than anyone else in Star Wars existence. That guy had so much potential and they turned him into a joke. A carnival show. Oscar, Oscar Isaac as Poe became cocky and douchey and unlikable. So we had this core team, this trio that was freaking great at first. J.J. Abrams had the pieces in place and they just shot on it. They just, they screwed the pooch. So now time has healed wounds, sure. I, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgiven. But I'm willing to I'm willing to give this a chance. I like Daisy Ridley. I want her to be Ray in a good way. Be Ray in a good way. Let's talk about what this film is. From what the internet has told me, this new movie is gonna take place 15 years after the events of Rise of Skywalker. Ray, now a Jedi Master, because of course she is, because there's no stakes or no actual build in that character at all, or no growth. She will be attempting to train and rebuild the Jedi Order. A new order. One, one for all of us, I think. So what else do we know about this? The title, the runtime, other characters coming back, how it fits into a larger scale film. Uh, no, we know nothing else. What I told you is what we know. And that's all we know. So this was a, this was, this was a good video. Let's move on. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. My love, my dream, my... One that got away. She's going to be in a new TV series on Disney Plus. That's always fun. Whenever I hear Disney Plus exclusive, I just, just die a little bit more inside. Called Ahsoka. Reprising her role is Rosario Dawson, who was in many films over the years. Sin City, Clerks 2 or 3, one of them. Uh, she's been in a lot of stuff. She's great. She's actually fantastic. And she was in Mandalorian as Ahsoka for a little while, so I guess it's fine. We're going to continue this whole universe of Mandalorian stuff, even though that show's gone to shit. Boba Fett wasn't good at all, and I just have no hope for the future of Star Wars. But yeah, this will be fun. The trailer is great. The trailer was really good. And that's, that's where I'm at with that. For the ten people that watched and enjoyed Andor, you're getting your season two. It's coming. It's right around the corner. Uh, Andor was actually really good, the first three episodes that I watched and then never went back to it because I honestly, I was making coffee and I just kind of forgot. I, I should eventually continue that series. Star Wars, The Acolyte is a new Disney Plus show coming. I'm told by internet that it's Frozen meets Kill Bill. Let's move on. I don't care about almost any of this. I just want to lay that out there. I'm actually excited about Ray returning and what they're going to do there 15 years later to try to clean up the shit show that was the sequel franchise. I'd like Finn to return, but I'm pretty sure the actor is like, yeah, screw Disney, screw Star Wars. We'll see. We'll see. For all I know, this thing's going to start out with Ray at Finn's grave. Like, don't watch what I'm about to do next. Kisses the top of it, walks away in slow motion. Whole cemetery blows up for some reason. Phil Collins' air tonight plane. Hi 
I can feel it calling in the air tonight. Oh, hold on. And then the title comes up. Fallen Jedi. Wait, that was a game, wasn't it? Okay, there are my thoughts on these new Star Wars announcements. I want to hear from you. Are you optimistic? Are you still all in on Star Wars since Disney's taken over? Or are you like me and you've just been battered down over and over with the promise of greatness only to have the ball fumble or get scored by the other team? I don't know who the team even is because Disney owns everything. Mandalorian was so good when it started out, and now it's just so pathetically stupid. And all the Disney Plus MCU stuff has been mid at best, or just downright awful. So I just can't get on board with any of this. They have a lot to prove, and I'm not just going to blindly be sold this bag of goods. Because for all I know, I'm going to open this Apple bag, and it's just going to be shit inside. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Please like the video if you had some fun. Subscribe if you had a lot of fun, maybe too much fun. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Take care.